Hello and welcome back to Path of Radiance 0% Growth. So we are about to do Chapter 13. First we get to see our results from Chapter 12. Our MVP was Mordecai. Huh. Interesting. And then we get to the base and I will be right back. Alright, so we have one very important thing to do uh, in the base before we start the chapter, which is we are going to promote Jill. I already BXP'd her to level, t level 10. Um, so we just gotta use a Master Seal. And there we go. So we get the plus one movement, of course, plus two strength, speed, and defense. That's the most important upgrades. Um, yeah. So um, I think I remembered. Yeah, I had one other thing that I wanted to do. Not that it really matters, but okay. So on we go. Um, actually, before I leave, I'll, I will mention, I mean, obviously, so I moved some stuff around, um, but, uh, the most important thing that I did is I forged Titania a new axe, so, her, because hers is currently running low, um, I would like to have an axe for Jill as well, because now that she's promoted, she can use, uh, use axes, and I would like to train her axe rank, but unfortunately, just not enough to go around right now, um, so she's gonna use the lance, I mean, I guess I could give her Titania's, like, almost broken axe. Maybe it will do that, actually. Why not? There. Seems fine. Okay. And here we are on at chapter 13. And, um... This is the second boat map, uh, aka the um, actually fun boat map. Like the previous one, I think is not too terribly interesting. This one I really like. Uh, I've mentioned before my appreciation for the Path of Radiance defense chapters. This one doesn't feel as much like a defense chapter unless you forget to cover the point uh, and the Ravens uh, sneaky sneakily sees it, um, which can happen. I've definitely had that happen to me before, but in general, it doesn't feel quite as much like a defense chapter as others. Like, you generally route the enemy um, with plenty of turns to spare, um, but I still like the... I think the layout's interesting. Um, I think the concept is interesting. There's enough going on uh, in the chapter um, to keep things engaging until the end when when you, you kind of run out of enemies. There's a... Uh, Six chests on the, or sorry, seven chests on the map. There's four uh, on this boat, and then there's three on this boat. So we're bringing Volk to open those. Um, Soth, we could bring Soth, but it, we don't really need to, and I don't mind spending 250 gold or whatever, I don't know, uh, 350 gold to ensure that my thief doesn't just die, <laughs> so. Um, so we're doing that. It is for who else we're bringing? Kiran, Titania, Marcia, Jill. No surprises there. Riss, Mordecai, Mist, Lath, Vol. Probably no surprises there. Iliana and Zahark. They're not going to do much. Zahark can shove on turn one, which is relevant. We don't need any more shoving, so we're bringing Iliana because she's probably the best remaining combat unit I have. Like, we could bring Soth, but honestly, it doesn't matter if we do. Um, like, to bring a second thief. I was, I think I talked about this. Uh, in the previous episode, that basically, you know, I wasn't sure whether deploying him would would help uh, make the chapter easier, and it turns out it really doesn't. So, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, oh, and I guess you know, of course, you, this is the mission where uh, Astrid and Gatry show up. So, recruiting Astrid and Gatry turn one is, of course, a part of, uh, an important part of the strategy.
All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna have Jill come over here and let's see uh, if she is capable of doubling this guy. She is not, um, but let's just go ahead and I, mean, I guess we could use the, the Lance to decrease damage from the this guy. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, But, sure, we'll do that. Sometimes she doubles that guy. There's a lot of uh, enemy stat variation in uh, uh, the enemies that we engage on turn one, which can make a pretty big difference in how the first turn plays out. Um, one of those being whether or not Jill doubles this guy. Um, Marsha, I haven't seen her fail to kill this guy, and that won't be the case here either. Okay, now another one is whether Titania can one round this archer with the hand axe. She cannot. Okay, that's that's fine. So um, what we will do is check. So Kiran doesn't one round this guy. Um, but I think we will attack him. I'm just going to move him up like that. And then... Um, actually, we need to move Lath out of the way here. And the reason we need to do that is because we need Zahark to shove Volk. So that Volk can come over here, open this chest. Get a killer bow. And then that opens the way for Riss and Mordecai. To shove and smite Ike. So that Ike can come recruit Astrid. Uh, he's also going to trade her some weapons so that she can trade them to Gatry. And then Astrid is going to talk to Gatry. Recruit him. Trade him the weapons as well as the Night Ward. So the Night Ward, if you're not familiar, uh, raises uh, defense and res for Soldiers, Knights, and Paladins by, I want to say three pretty sure it's three um also it increases their speed growth rate by 30 percent but of course that's not relevant here um but yeah uh so we're gonna we're gonna do that and then we're actually gonna rescue ike and bring him over here the reason for that is because there's this guy here um if he can reach ike which he will be able to do um unless i don't move Gatry to where I probably will want to move him. But anyway, if this guy attacks Ike, he can kill him. So um, it's actually a little bit unfortunate because Astrid can actually finish this guy off, which is nice, but oh well. Anyway, um, so we're going to um, have Gatry hit this guy. We'll leave that soldier to the right of that archer alive for now. And then we're going to have Titania trade uh, for the Night Ward and equip that uh, for some extra defense. I wouldn't mind having it on Kiran, but I wanted Kiran in front because he does a little bit more damage. And so Titania is the one who can actually get the thing. And then um, we're just going to move up with Ileana and with Mist. And that'll be turn one. Now the crows or the ravens talk to the boss, Norris. Right, so this guy suicides on a green unit anyway, so it's really fine to leave him alive. The only thing is that, like, sometimes... Well, I don't know. Keeping the green units alive is... It's not even necessarily like a thing you want to do i mean in the first couple turns they're pretty useful because they reduce the number of like lanes of attack for the enemies but then over time they kind of end up getting in the way they like to throw javelins at enemies that they're not very good at killing and then like you can't kill them yourself and that's pretty annoying yeah so that 
Myrmidon will probably take down that soldier. Oof. Yep, down he goes. Alright, and here come the two ravens. We're possibly the scariest enemies on the map right now because the the three uh, halberdiers on the bridges don't move. Okay, so I appreciate them doing that. Although the other guy, if he'd hit, would have killed this guy, which would also been nice, but whatever. Okay, so now... Um, need to figure out how to deal with this guy... Okay, Titania can double him. So, probably what we want to do... Well, although Titania might also want to go fight these two. Yeah, I think so, ideally. So... Maybe what we'll do... Well, one thing we're definitely, um, I might know. I mean, we could potentially have Ileana and Gatry work together to take this guy down. Let's see. Um, 14 damage or 17 damage. He's got two res. So Ileana can do at most 13 damage. But realistically, we'd prefer to have her use something with a higher hit rate. So eight, eight to thirteen damage. I mean that the eight damage would work there. The thirteen damage would work there. All right, so let's do what I was thinking about doing, and have Riss shove Iliana forward. Oh, that's a pretty good hit rate. Let's use that. Alrighty. Now we can have Lathe take this guy out and Titania take out that soldier and we can start cutting our way towards the boss. Probably want to have Karen take this guy out. Marsha does not double that guy. Let's see. That guy's an easy kill. This guy's got... 11 weight, so minus 2, 7 speed, which means he gets doubled by Jill and by Marsha. Okay. Uh, 22 attack. It's 9 is 13, so Marsha doesn't one round him. Jill probably does. So I think what we want to do here... So have Marsha toss a javelin at this guy? Uh. Not the greatest hit rate, but oh well. Good enough. Alright, so... Um, Volk, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
get to there. So Marsha, you can trade her a better weapon. You go here. Better for it to fight the crows or ravens. Whatever. Let's look at their attack ranges. Seems not too problematic. So, so now Kiran, yeah, we're just gonna let him finish this guy off. Well, this guy will attack this guy, which is pretty annoying. And then. Sahark up, bring Mist up. What am I going to do with Mordecai? I think I'm actually just going to smite Mist forward. Make it more likely she can reach somebody next turn. And then we're actually going to drop Ike on the point. Just to make sure that I don't, like, forget and leave it open. He's just going to sit there the entire time. We don't really need him anywhere else anyway. don't mind having these guys just kill the green units, honestly. Although they're going to run away and use vulnerabilities now. Yep. But they're not really in the way, so that's nice. Okay. I can accept that. It's a pretty good outcome, actually. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they can't attack down like this. It works the way it does across the ships, which is actually kind of nice in this case. Okay, so we need to get this guy out of the way for sure, because we need Volk to open this chest this turn. I mean, we don't need need to, but definitely prefer to. Um, I think Zahark actually does do pretty good damage, yeah, with the Ligu Slayer, so we don't need a whole lot of damage on that. Um, let's see, Titania... And finish this guy off, and then this guy's only got 11 speed, so Lathe can actually double him. So if she succeeds, then Lathe can finish this guy off. Well, I mean, she could do it anyway, but without getting attacked by that guy next turn. So that would be nice to do. So given that... So 9 from Gatry plus 18 is definitely enough. Just need him to hit. Alright. I don't think... Yeah, we want to use any of the other weapons. Oh, it's a hark. Come on, man. <sighs> Alright. Twelve... 16. Alright, well, that helps. And we still gotta get this guy, though. I need to bring Kiran in to help with this. 16 and 12. That's what Marsha did, right? Yeah, okay. So I think we're gonna give the kill to Kiran so that we can heal, heal Marsha and put Kiran back where he is and not have him take any additional damage. Likewise, Jill. 
So can I come over here? Let's do this. Yay, a coin! Be useful for all of the Radiant Dawn transfers that I don't do. Okay. So, Marsha. That. We'll put her, like, here, I guess. Or, no, let's put, uh, this is actually kind of awkward. You know, I guess I can leave her here and then move Mist over there. Because I want to put Volk here and then rescue him with Astrid. That is what I want to do. All right, yeah, I guess Marth the Marsha stays here. All right, down go the Ravens. To the axe of the mighty Kieran. Bulk in his chest. Right. Come heal Marsha. And we didn't even end up using Ileana. Interesting. Um, maybe these guys have full health. I don't want them to like occupy the spot here. So I think what's gonna what I'm gonna do is, Tania, you're gonna try to take this guy out. Although if I want to heal her, which would be nice, I probably can't put her right behind Kieran. Let's see, wrists one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's accurate. Okay, fine. I guess I won't do that. Alrighty. I think it's going to be safe to put Ileana here. I mean, I guess it's safe in a manner of speaking, but no. Not going to do that. But she can probably find a way to help over here somewhere next turn. Ike just stays put. Actually, they might kill the, the... The green units might kill the Halberdier if they decide to attack. That'd be kind of funny. Down to 1 HP with that guy. I wonder if they can reach him, too. Ordinarily, I'd be pretty unhappy about them stealing my promoted kills, but right now I don't care. I don't really have anybody that I'm worried about leveling up. Dude, what? Are you serious? <laughs> Why would you... <sighs> this behavior. Alright, well they got him, which is actually really helpful. So, I'm not going to complain too much. Alrighty, so now... This guy's ready to die... How likely are we to hit him? Ooh. That isn't good. Alright, well what we can probably do instead... Can we get Sahark? Well, okay. Before I do any of that, I'll just do this. Open a chest. Get a thing. Cool. Alright, yeah, so the question is... Can we get Sahark over here and attack this guy? He might actually be able to take him out. 
We can heal him from there, which means we can shove him from there. Oh, I can't shove Zahark. Wait, you can't? So we can heal him from there, but not shove him? Is that how it works? Oh. Ugh. All right, I guess we gotta get Ileana out of the way. Ileana actually is a reasonable candidate to get this kill. It's just we gotta get Jill out of the way for that. Let's see. Hmm. I wanted to heal Jill. Well, I guess I'll have to heal Jill afterwards anyway. Where would I put her? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm not going to be able to heal her that way. Uh. Hmm. I'd ideally not like to... Ex oh, this is a Fire Mage. I thought it was a Thunder Mage. Okay, never mind. I was going to say I'd ideally like to not expose her. I mean, she does have crap res anyway, but... 9 damage isn't that scary. Oh, right, she can't... Yeah, she can do that, though. Uh... Surely she can't kill that guy with a hand axe, right? No. Well, these guys are equally beefy. So, Marsha won't be killing either one of them. Hmm. I guess Jill will probably be fine anyway. Actually, what we can do... potentially do is just place Jill right there and Misty can heal from here. It does block access to this guy, but we can come at him from the other side, so it doesn't really matter. Just make sure this hits. I don't mind getting Eliana a promoted kill. I mean, if... If I were going to promote anybody here that can get kills, which is to say not miss or missed or risk, it would be her. I'd still prefer to promote Tormod because of Celerity. Celerity? Celerity? Whatever. Uh, but... Alright. So Titania... I think what we're going to do with you is go take out this guy. We don't need our forge for. It's nice. <laughs> I think next turn is going to be when we take out the boss because we're going to be able to converge on him with three different units. Which is what it takes to take him out at this point because we can't really double him. This guy does have a killing edge, but he's only got 18 attacks. So like, he does 12 damage to Lathe if he crits. Like, that's not too scary. Boss has 14 speed. We don't have anybody with 18 speed, of course. Alright, so... I think we're going to go ahead and bring Ike out for this... Oh, hey, we can talk to Gatry. would like to put Riss where that green unit is, but that's not allowed. That is not a kill. That is reasonably likely to be a kill, but the alternative is that we have Marsha do this. Not Iron Lance, Iron Sword. And I think I prefer guaranteeing the kill here. Ow. We want to move her here so we can heal her next turn before she moves, if we are so inclined. 
I think I will use the Killing Edge just to make it less likely that Zahar takes damage. Hmm. Alright, well he didn't anyway. Oh, he adapted, hooray. Alright, and Kiran... How much damage do you take from Mr. Killing Edge here? A fair bit that way. Not so much that way. Yeah, I think... You want to do... Oh, I can't... can't do the thing I was planning to do. I was planning to... have Gatry throw a Javelin at this guy, but then I can't heal with Mist, so we won't do that. We will not do that. Actually, are we 100% sure that Miss doesn't get blown up by this guy? I mean, she doesn't have, like, a ton of res, but yeah, she's fine. These green units really are in my way. There's no denying it. You know, the other thing I could do... Just wall this guy off. So you can't get to Zahark. Because Zahark's like the most vulnerable one right now. I mean, the Steel guy, Lance guy... Zahark probably can't kill. Well, he could with a crit, I guess. So I could trade him... Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually, let's do this. I'm going to trade him that... Now we're going to use a vulnerary. And we'll come over here like that. And what else do we even want to do? Mordecai is about ready to transform, so he's going to come help kill the boss, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or he could help kill this guy, whatever. Either way, going over here. Seems useful, and then we just got Astrid. Just hang out. He's gonna attack him at close range. <laughs> okay. Idiot. Oh! I didn't realize I'd put somebody in his range. Whoops. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Ow! <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> Kieran could actually die here. It's not very likely. Okay, now he can't. Silly green units. Alright, more ravens. But, there's a thing with the ravens, and I actually don't remember... <laughs> I didn't bother to check because it doesn't really matter. So the ravens will... those ravens will not um, attack, they will just go for the treasure. And I don't know if that's because I'm about to kill the boss, or because they that's just how they work. Um... Let's see, 18. Yeah, we're gonna need three attacks even with Mordecai's help, unfortunately. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Um... Alright, let's start with... That. Yeah, Mordecai does enough to two-shot him, but nobody else does, so... Sure. 
We got that guy. I don't suppose Astrid can kill either one of these guys. Oh my gosh, she might be able to. Do it. Oh, look at that Astrid value. Let's go. Oh, I didn't even talk about Astrid as a unit, nor did I talk about Gatry. Okay, hold on. Um, let's, oh yeah, we'll, we'll start with Astrid. So Astrid is, like, probably the single most negatively impacted unit by 0% growths. Probably. I mean, you know, you could make cases for, like, Ike, um, maybe for Oscar, probably some other people too. But, I, I mean, Astrid... Has Astrid has Paragon, which doubles her XP, XP gain, which allows her to like if, if she didn't have Paragon, she would be a pretty bad unit. She has um, like it, it, independent of zero percent growth. She has actually her actually respectable bases for level one, but still she's level one at this point in the game. Like she is way behind. And she's mounted, but she's a bow knight and. Being locked to bows is not good in this game. Um, but the thing that's her saving grace is that because she has Paragon, um, and because Paragon applies to bonus experience, you can not only level her up quickly in combat, but you can also BXP her to promotion quickly, and or, or, or cheaply, I guess I should say. And doing that um, gives her access to another weapon type, generally axes, and lets her have, uh, obviously, you know, the ability to counterattack on enemy phase, which is very important. Um, and then she has all the advantages of, you know, being mounted. She'll have, like, pretty good stats. And, and at that point, she's really good. Um, she's, I mean, is she as good as, like, Kiran or Oscar normally? No, because they're around more. Um, and they don't require as much investment. But still, like, Astrid is absolutely um, worth investing into under normal circumstances. But here, man, it's so sad. Like, she just, like, she comes in with stats that are barely better than Ike's. They are better. Um, and that's what I mean about her bases are actually not that bad. Because, you know, for her level, I mean. It's like Ike has 5 strength, 7 speed, 5 defense. Like, if you kind of forget, like, what level 1 stats look like. 19 HP, 0 res. And she's better in pretty much all those areas. More strength, more speed. Uh, same defense, I think? Yeah, but a lot more res. One more HP. Um, same skill. And she has less luck. Whatever. Um, and obviously she's mounted. So, I mean... You know. If she, if she joined... In... Uh, if she joined in, like, you know, Chapter 1, you'd be fine with her bases, even if she joined in, like, Chapter 2 or 3 or 4. I don't know how late she'd have to join for that not to be true, but without Paragon, she'd be good. But in any case, um, yeah, obviously for 0% growth, she I, she's never going to see the field again. Okay, so then Gatry, I mean, we talked about him before. He's back. He's worse. He's still not bad, though. I mean, um, in... In a normal gross playthrough at this point, he's pretty superfluous. Like, you have, you know, a strong Kieran, you have, strong, have a strong Titania, you have a strong Oscar, you have a strong Marsha, you have a strong Jill. You're looking to invest into Astrid. Your Ike is reasonably good. You don't need Gatry. Um, but, uh, and and you've got the Lagoos. Um, but we don't, I don't know if we need Gatry, but, I mean, he's definitely, like, pulling more weight here than he... Uh, than he would normally. Um, so, you know, the, the his combination of defense and HP is certainly pretty nice. He has, you know, reasonable attack power. Obviously, his speed and his mobility leave a lot to be desired, but, you know, he's still, he's still helpful. I mean, he's certainly going to do more work than, like, Astrid. So, I don't know that he's going to get deployed again either, but we'll see. I could see deploying him over Zahark, depending on, you know, like, what we're doing. Or Iliana, depending on what we're doing. Okay, dokie. So, let's go ahead and have Mordecai make this attack. And I, we'll give this kill to Leith, I guess. And K 
Can we avoid using our forges here? That's like the only way I can think to optimize this. Train our weapon rank off, off weapon weapon ranks a little bit. Oh, that's not a great idea. Two damage, whatever. <laughs> it's enough. All right, we gotta use the forge, fine. The longbow, we don't really care. Okay, and now at this point, um, so I, I kind of mentioned the crows will now just go for the treasure. So all we have to do is block them while Volk picks up the remaining three chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, so the rest of this chapter is, is pretty much playing out the string. Just going to do some healing. Uh, we will throw in some attacks against the, the ravens. They don't, like, they'll retaliate against your attack, but they won't, like, start attacking you if you start attacking them. It's kind of weird. Like, you would think they would want to defend themselves, but no. They don't care. And we can use that to do a little weapon rank training. Ike's just gonna go chill in the, on the point again. Jill... I don't know, just... Hang out. And Sala talking about stealing the goodies. Oh, look at that. That guy gets to make an attack. Alright. Who else do we want healed? Mordecai. Kiran. is going to want some healing. It's a Hark. Marsha. Let's heal Marsha. And so you can kind of box them away from the treasure chest by like lining the, you know, lining up in the appropriate spots. guys drops like a coin that's about all we've got going for us right now in terms of picking targets yeah sure whatever we don't really care too much if this actually hits or kills or whatever Jill's got the Laguz guard so she's not going to take much damage so it's all pretty uh, inconsequential Tibarn makes his first appearance. Not that it really matters. So they, yeah, they've got to go like all the way around this barricade to actually get to those treasure chests. Now the green units are like, no, we got to get them. one. No. Oh, 
I think actually, yeah, they can't even reach this spot next turn. So let's uh give them a lane to go over there, I guess. It doesn't matter how I arrange my units. Um, sure, we'll let's let Titania attack with a Steel Lance. Inner Lance rank. Because that matters a lot. And we can let Marsha attack with a sword, although. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. She actually can't. She actually can't leave room for them. <laughs> Unless we like. No, there's just no way to do it. Alright, whatever. It's not like it matters. I suppose in theory I could let them open the chests and save myself 50 gold that way, but that also doesn't matter. So why bother? Why require myself to get those kills when I can just open the chests? It's not like I need the money. Okay, Kieran, have a kill with the Lance. I should have given that one to Ileana. Oh, Thunder, maybe you can crit. Nope. We'll just Astrid shoot at this guy, why not? Look at that, eight damage, bam! The value. After this turn, they'll start running away because um, they have nothing to, to do. No more treasure to find. I guess I can just have Chill Chase after them. And, uh, who else? Marsha. Bonk. Who else? Anyone else? I guess Titania. Bang. Imagine how amazing it would be if I could skip some of these animations. Alright. I don't care about Gatry's weapon level, so... And turn. Away they go. Yeah, I mean, definitely the interesting part of this map is like the first several turns and not this part. But, oh well. What can you do? Pretty sure they're all gonna be gone after this turn, so we're not even gonna get to make an attack next turn. Actually, it occurs to me we could actually block them from even being able to approach the ship at this point. Not that it matters. 
guess the injured one left. Alright, who else is injured? Titania. Should be it. Catchery. Okay. Oh, that one just like stopped at the edge for some reason. That's weird. Well, all right. Yield except for Marsha and Jill. This guy's injured. I guess we'll give it to. Oh, Miss is only level three. Yikes. Okay, you know what? No, we'll give that to Riss. come the holy knights so uh yeah that will do it for chapter 13 sorry for the sort of uninteresting conclusion to the chapter um like i said i mean i think the beginning of the chapter is fun i just think the like you have to be I, I guess the first time you play the chapter if you don't like restart or anything you can definitely get caught out by some of those ravens and like lose out on the treasure and the end of the game or the end of the chapter can be pretty interesting but once you know how to play the chapter it's sort of, sort of like there's not a whole lot going on there but um i can i guess i could have potentially taken it off screen but um ah I, I don't know i i uh like to show these things in their entirety give a sense for what's going on uh, in any case, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time for Chapter 14, which I believe is um, the Fog of War chapter where you face Gashalama and get recruit Makalov. Uh, so until then.